the vehicles, seeing all the, uh, uh, some, many of the vehicles converted to natural gas, seeing all the development happening. And I'm ex we're, we are extremely appreciative of the visit uh, today here and the leadership of uh, Andhra Pradesh and Fab City to create uh, an opportunity for us to manufacture here uh, in Hyderabad. As uh, Subu mentioned, I've had the privilege to work in uh, the photovoltaic area for over ten, uh, 20 years. Photovoltaics is by far the fastest growing energy technology, and it's been doing that for over 10 years. The technology, we're basically, it's growing at over 50% a year. So every two years, the cumulative amount installed is more than in the history of the technology brought forward. Nowhere in the world is solar better than in India. India is the most natural place for solar. You've got fantastic sun and you need power. And you have people that care about the environment and ample land to build these systems and a need for manufacturing. All these ingredients make India really the best place in the world. And I've been all over the world doing solar. Uh, the, you know, the largest market for solar is Germany. Germany has 50% less sun than India. Coal is by far the most damaging and polluting energy source in the world. Uh, the US and India share uh, uh, the fact that about half the energy in the countries come from coal. This program, we raised $25 million to accomplish this objective with the Sierra Club. And we've been successful in basically half the new coal projects have been now, more than half, have been abandoned. There were 210 new plants planned. Uh, we've stopped 140 of those projects. And many of the new projects that are coming are, uh, are on the drawing board are not going to be built. What's happened is in the last three, uh, three years, there's been three times more wind and solar installed on an energy generating basis than coal. And that's resulting in uh, a lot more jobs. There are seven times more jobs per megawatt in wind and solar than there are in coal. So it's a double win. It's a win for the economy and it's a win for the environment. And this has driven down costs very, very significantly. So there's a great opportunity um, in, in our view and in.